Hello, my name is David Barber. I'm a professor at the University of Manitoba. My field of specialization is sea ice. I've been studying sea ice in the high Arctic for about uh, 25 years now. This past September I had a remarkable experience on board the uh, research icebreaker, the Amundsen. Uh, we did a field research program into the uh, southern Beaufort Sea, which is north of the Taktaaktaak Peninsula at the north end of Canada's uh, landmass in the western high Arctic. Uh, the objectives of the study were to go into the late season multi-year sea ice in that area and to study what is going on with the decay of that sea ice. Uh, in recent years, uh, we've noticed that there's been a recovery in the aerial extent of sea ice in the Northern Hemisphere. 2007 was the minimum extent on record ever recorded. 2008 showed a recovery to that and 2009 showed another recovery to that. So we were expecting to go into this area uh, to get an understanding of what was happening with the ice and what was promoting the recovery of this, thinking that uh, the sea ice conditions were starting to rebound towards where they used to be back in the uh, 70s and 80s. Unfortunately, when we got into the study area, we quickly realized that the satellites that we've been using to study the sea ice and to tell us what this type of ice was in the area uh, was incorrectly classifying the ice. Uh, we were doing a transect line north of Tuktoyaktuk and we were uh, traveling in our ship at about 13 nautical miles per hour. That's about 25 kilometers an hour. And this is a speed that is almost exactly the same as the ship would have in open water. And this should not have been possible because the satellites were telling us we were in very thick multi-year sea ice. Unfortunately, the kind of ice that we encountered was something we have not seen before. It was a type of rotten ice that was a conglomerate of very small pieces of this multi-year sea ice that survives the summer and then grows the next year. And it's overlaid by a very thin layer of uh, what we call first-year ice, the stuff that grows annually that year. So the results of this study were quite shocking to the scientific world uh, in the sense that what we thought was a recovery in sea ice aerial extent is uh, not um, uh, accounted for by an increase in thickness. In fact, what we're finding is that the multi-year sea ice in the northern hemisphere is continuing to disappear at a very alarming rate. And if we continue on the trajectory we're on, we will no longer have multi-year sea ice in the northern hemisphere very soon.